well this weekend's weather is definitely not 10 out of 10 but what is going to be 10 out of 10 is we're going to crack on with the shower and the shower mixer this week cool so the way i'm going to break this down is i'll show you all the things i had to figure out and buy first thing i bought a shower mixer and a shower head and this bar i'll put links in the description for everything and it also comes with this so i'm a complete beginner to plumbing and all this stuff so i will just show you what's the situation so first thing you're gonna need to mount this inside the shower and somehow you need to get water to these two points hot and cold the kit comes with this which is i think it's three quarter inch standard bsp bsp just means british standard plumbing sizes i think that goes to a half inch reducer this all comes with the kit which is all good and dandy the problem is is how do you fix this into the wall all right and how do you get plumb into it and we're pretty tight on space the next thing i got is this 90 degree fixture thing so that goes half inch female to half inch female so this guy that comes with your shower kit will go straight in there these are 15 centimeters standard most shower mixers are like 15 centimeters apart but with these little reducers you can adjust it so if yours is not standard 15 centimeters you can twist these little things around to make it a wider thing if your shower mixer is not standard so now we can fix it to the wall and basically the inside part is all sorted the next thing is how do we get water to these points so it's half inch bsp half inch bsp and the plan is that we're going to use the john guest piping so i got some red got some blue 12 mil piping from ebay so now how do we connect this 12 mil onto the half inch bsp here are the john guest fittings that i picked up they're pretty expensive but they are nice and they are push fit so once we get from bsp to john guest we should be we should have a pretty easy time so to go from half inch to 12 mil you need one of these john guest fittings and that just twists the mail just goes straight in here cool so now that we're in john guest world i just cut two pipes one of them is red for hot and for hot you need one of these little push bit things i'm not gonna push in there because it's just a test piece that i cut off i don't know if i can take it out that pushes in there make sure it's all the way home i guess pushed in there make sure it's all the way home and that's it we should have a watertight seal and then as we are coming out i'll add these quarter turn cut off switches and at the bottom of the wall i would just have an elbow coming out so that's the plan to get fitted and let's figure out where this bracket goes get it all mounted and let's crack on all right so let's jump into it the weather is absolutely horrible today it's raining so bad but anyway hopefully you guys can hear it so the first thing to do is to figure out exactly where this plate is going to go i still haven't glued everything in once i figure out exactly how this is going to work and cut the hole then we'll glue it and then i'll fit it properly on the back side when i watched scott and jen do it when he's done it he basically mounted it in this orientation he had to drill through his horizontal batten to sit this inside and then ran the pipes through but i don't really have enough room to do that and he also mounted an extra backing plate that this was screwed into what i'm gonna do instead is if i flip it around this way I don't have to drill through the batten because I'm worried if I drill a massive, two massive holes in this, I'm hardly going to have any wood left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it in this orientation underneath and probably put another batten in the middle here to sandwich in between just to make sure that it's solid. I need to figure out exactly where this is going to go and how far in or out it needs to be and then drill our 30 mil holes and i think i'm gonna want to have it as far to the left as i can so it's not too much in the way so i just quickly assemble this with those little cover caps to figure out how far i can screw this on so now that i assembled it i'm putting this cover up against the pvc and everything so it's a nice fit and that gives me an idea of how far i need to place this on 
underside of this baton. So yeah, I'm gonna measure this up and draw everything out and then cut the holes. So I drew around those two holes, measured the center, and now I'm gonna drill pilot hole in the middle from this side. And then because the PVC is not glued in yet and I want a nice hole, once the pilot hole is through, I'm gonna drill the hole, the PVC and the wood through with the hole so from this side. So yeah, wish me luck. Where is my hole? We're in here. That's not too bad, is it? 30 mil hole saw. Let's go. I should have probably glued this first. Come out, BBC! I just need to cut the hole in the wood. Bloop! Alright, one more. Yay! Look at that! There it is. All right, there's my two holes. There's my bracket. Now that it slots in, we can figure out exactly how deep it needs to go. I'm gonna plug these guys in, something like that. Then plug those on. So, because these are adjustable, you need to make sure that they are level, like so, before you put them on. But when we put the PTFE tape on and all that, then we'll make sure that they line up. Okay, cool. So here's the test pit. As you can see, you can see the silver thread. So I don't really want that. And the bit on the shower here doesn't twist anymore. So what we need to do is move the back bracket more forward. So let me show you where it's at now. You see, we can move it back about half a centimeter or so. And if we move it back, then hopefully we won't see any of the silver thread. All right, now twist these back until you can't see like so and then push everything back that should give us a nice fit all right here we are and if i just push this back then you'll see where we should end up so i'm gonna draw a line there and then get it all fixed then we should be good to go do, 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 do. Oh. that is pretty much where we're gonna be might as well just screw it boy all right, so I only have 16 mil pan heads at the minute, but that's fine because it's only a temporary fitting. So I'll get some longer screws that go all the way through. But now I just want to get it in place so we know that this is going to work. Bloody hell, rain. Calm down. It's already pretty solid. And I still have like six screw holes. So I'm just going to put one more in temporarily. So I added some temporary screws in there and this is what this side looks like. Looks nice and neat. That's gonna cover up the hole. So I'm gonna take this off now, I think. Or I might try whether we're gonna mount the shower rail. But really, we need to glue everything down first, but I know this is gonna work now, so I'm gonna take that off and I'll show you exactly what it looks like without the covers and stuff. So there it is with the covers. Nice, looks nice and neat. So anyway, now that I know that everything's gonna fit and I got the shower mixer out of the way, we can glue all of these walls on and yeah. Super happy with this, it's gonna look really nice. So next up, we're gonna glue all of these walls on and the shower tray down, and then we can get these fitted temporarily until we can do a water test. Just one more thing, I just added the push fit connectors from the half inch to go to 12 mil push fit, and we are so close to uh, the battered. We're just in line, so I have a test piece here. So we fit only just perfectly so yeah that's super successful it's something i've been worried about this if you're gonna fit inside a small baton because you're obviously trying to keep everything pretty lightweight so that's gonna work i think what i'm gonna do now i'll cut the 12 mil pipe and just push fit stuff together maybe and then we need to glue all these pvc panels down i think we're ready to go righty so it's time to glue everything so what i'm gonna do is take the sidewalls out and glue the floor the joints and this main panel in the ceiling so what i've got here is i've got two sheets of ply that fit just about and i have another one there for the ceiling and then i got these extendable poles i'm gonna put glue everywhere on the bottom on the joints get that squished down and i'm gonna glue this side get that squished or pushed as much as i can and i'm gonna put these plies up and then cramp it in between or squish it in between these two pieces and we're gonna let that cure before we do the side panels and then we glue the side panels let's go
I even glued the edges. It looks pretty nice. Fairly happy with it all the way around. I'm probably gonna do another pass to tidy things up and just to make sure everything is nice and watertight. I still need to do the trims, but they are glued underneath. And next up, I'm gonna go ahead and install the shower mixer now that these are all glued in. Oh, one more thing that I've done is I've done this inside trim. So that little channel is from BNQ. Basically done it as the same process as all other panels. Just cut the PVC panels and then on the edge, I just glued that little L trim on. So now that that's all done, we can crack on with the shower mixer. Right, so for the shower mixer and the shower head and everything, what I need to do is I need to fit this and then I need to fit that, which I've already shown you roughly how it goes. So I just need to get all of these fitted and then the shower is gonna start looking pretty good. So the first thing I need to do is get these bad boys fitted. So to get this fitted, because it's not a compression fitting, we need to use the plumbing tape, which is this stuff. I never used this stuff before, so I think all I need to do is wrap some around it. How much of this are we meant to use? And then I got some of this plumbers, mate. This is probably going to leak. This is the first time I've ever done this, so who knows? Ugh, that's pretty gross. I think of this stuff, I just need to put some around it this doesn't leak, it'll be a miracle. And then now, I should be able to spread it in there. Should have probably done this before I put the bracket up, but I'm gonna take it off anyway at some point, and I'm not gonna stick a flex here yet until we know that this is gonna be watertight. If there are any plumbers watching this, <laughs> you are probably cringing right now. Make sure there's 15 in between them. That should do it. Now we can put the shower head on. I think this is a compression fitting because there's a rubber gasket in here. So the kit came with these, it came with no instructions, but it came with these rubber gaskets. I assume it goes in here to make it a compression fitting. So because it's a compression fitting, we shouldn't need to use more of the tape stuff because basically when you tighten this down, it's gonna push up against the rubber ring. I don't know. If anyone knows better than me, let me know in the comments as it's all a temporary test fit anyway. Cool. So I'm only gonna do it finger tight because I don't want that rubber grommet thing to get too crazy tight. But that looks really good. There we go. That's all fitted. And now we need to do the shower rod. Okay, so we need to get these little things fitted first. And I think to do that, you need to unscrew this like so. And then this thing comes out. And I think this is what you screw onto the wall. And then once it's fixed onto the wall, it just slots back in, screw it on, put the rod through, and then we can tighten the rod down here. So let's get things measured out and fit these little things. Ooh. That's very close to the mixer. Right, I think this rod is too long. So, so I think what I'm gonna do is measure out how long I want it to be and try to cut it. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a <laughs> screw! You're joking! What are the chances? Well, talk about luck. The first uh, hole that I just drilled gone straight into the screw that screws the ply into the pattern. Nice one, but anyway, we'll sick of flex that and it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Are these little knobby screws at the bottom where you can tighten. Good job, Lassie. <gasps> I need the middle bit. Can you grab me the middle bit? <laughs> middle bit. It's in the shed. This bit. Laz forgot to put on <laughs> what the actual shower head sits on. 
God damn it. Silly Billy. Nice. Now we need the caps. Get this bad boy on. And the shower head. Whoop. Twist that on. We'll make sure that these don't leak when I actually have water running, but for now, I just want to get it up there and test it. And there we go. What our finished shower is going to look like. Nice. Super happy with this. Cast reaction time. Let's go. She hasn't seen it yet. Come on, shower girl. <laughs> what do you think? Look, it's almost like a rain shower. It's almost right above you. Because that shower head is pretty big. It looks well nice though. You happy? Yeah. So yeah, that yeah, the is... Yeah, black and white looks really cool together. That is all done. We just need the light in there and the sliding door. Toilet fixed. But yeah, super happy with how that turned out. Nice, nice, nice. The only thing I haven't done yet is I haven't run the temporary plum in here, but we'll do that at some point. But yeah, we're going to end this video here, I think. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and comment below what you think of our shower. Yeah, see you guys next week. Bye!